So I'm very excited for you all to see this. Salih Chin is a Turkish literature teacher and currently living in Knoxville, Tennessee. She's giving Turkish language classes in Knoxville at the Knoxville Turkish Cultural Center and has been practicing paper marbling, also known as Hebrew, for four years. So please join me in welcoming Ms. Salih Now, as Sally Ha begins to um, get her art tools together, I'm going to give you just a little bit of some brief information and some brief history about this incredible art style. Um, Ezra was also called water marbling. It's one of the most unique and beautiful forms of Turkish art. And again, it is called Ebru, or water marbling. Ebru is formed by drawing designs with dye on top of paper, and then carefully placing the paper on the surface of the water in order to absorb the dye. The earliest examples of Ebru are found in the Tokapi Palace in Istanbul, and are dated 1539. But the detail and the quality of the work suggests that Ebru was present long before this time in the Ottoman Empire. I have done a similar art lesson with my students over the years, trying to bring in the authentic um, nature of what it is to actually paint on water and have it stick to the paper. A little bit more information here I'd like to read you. The first step in Ebru is getting the perfect dye. Dyes are created from various organic substances. Soil from Istanbul, white lead, indigo from Pakistan, and red ochre are used to create the perfect colors. 24 karat gold may be added to the dyes in order to provide shimmer and shine. The dye is mixed with ox gall and the water, which thickens up. The art then forms in itself and that each dye is laid on top depending on the time of the year that it's collected. It changes in color, its age, and its fineness. Hebrew artists often spend years simply learning the art of mixing the dye before ever attempting their first modeling. Beautiful. 